Hey guys, Rob here, Smoky Mountain Rod and Customs. We're gonna show you this 55 Chevy that we just finished up here over at the assembly shop. This is the car that we got all of our scan data off of to do the development of our Tri-5 chassis that we currently have in production. This car was a true, true survivor. There was no rust repair that we had to do on the, on the floor pan in it. This car was the perfect car to get all of our data for our development of our chassis. We're gonna run down to the fab shop and check out the CAD lab next and see the development of the Tri-5 chassis that we Basically got all the data off this car to build our chassis down there. So stay tuned. I'm gonna take you through the shop here and show you the step-by-step -step process of the Tri-5 chassis. I just showed you the Tri-5 up there that we got done building for our customer, Jacob. So we're gonna take you in here and show you all the steps from the scan data off of that car. I wanna introduce you guys to Joel, my, one of my CAD guys in here, and he's gonna walk you through some of the processes and then we'll meet back up in the shop and I'll show you the fitment of our chassis to an actual body. So come in here and check it out. The CAD lab. I wanna introduce you guys to Joel. Joel's one of my CAD guys here. And he's going to walk you guys through the Tri-5 chassis that they just got done designing and we're in production now. So Joel's going to walk you through basically step by step the process of from 3D scan to yeah. finish. So, so uh, first we start with scanning uh, the bare shell of the car. We have a 3D scanner from uh, Shining 3D. It's the uh, OnScan HX. Uh, makes our job here in the CAD lab uh, very uh, easy, I guess I should say, uh, because there's no guesswork uh, with how we lay out these frame rails. We can get them very close to the body of the car uh, to double check just to make sure the fitment's super tight uh, and just to make sure that all of the body mounts fit because that's a, a big thing. And there's also some adjustability built into those as well because every car is different. You can see how it's kind of slotted. Uh, every, every floor is different, every car is different. So we try to clear any issues by having some adjustability built in that way. If your floor is off or you, your body mounts are off or tweaked a little bit, you won't run into any issues as far as chassis fitment. You know, further go along with that fitment, making sure everything is going where it's supposed to. Uh, we incorporate a lot of tab and slot features. You can see one kind of right here. Uh, these just help in the fabrication side, which we'll show you in just a minute. Uh, just to make sure that everything, there's no guesswork. A lot of these parts kind of click together and we don't have to make sure it's all square. It clicks together and there's only one way it can go and that's kind of it. That's how almost every part besides a tube part is made on our chassis. Then I'll show some, some of our fixturing. This right here is what you're getting ready to see in real life, but just on the computer. The way that we're doing our fixturing allows us to do stuff as efficiently, like put these together as efficiently as possible. That combined with other production methods that help us speed up the process, we're able to get these chassis from raw tubing to almost a complete chassis in a couple of days. So this is the 3D scan of the Tri-5 that you all just saw up at the assembly shop, the black one. Um, this scan was actually probably one of the first things I did. I don't even know if I worked here uh, yet whenever I scanned this car. Um, but we built this chassis entirely off of that 3D scan uh, and it ended up working out beautifully. I mean, you can see right here, there's like our body mounts. And we'll show you this stuff in real life here in just a second, but exactly where they are, it's all located for us. We're, there's no guesswork. 
it's just really, it's kind of like a big puzzle. We're kind of putting together a big steel puzzle. It seems very complicated, but there's a lot of background work that goes into making it very simple. So this is our uh, rotary two cutter from JD Squared, the XR12. Uh, this helps us with our frame rails. This is what they look like when they come off the truck. And then it's able to cut crazy intricate parts for us. And this thing makes all of our square, rectangle, round tube, everything. Big shout out to Bob and his sons and all these guys up at JD Squared up in Johnson City. They've been amazing to work with. This machine is really is awesome. the main chassis side of the shop. It's kind of a mess right now, but bear with us. Yeah. Our laser machine, we got our new fiber laser from Saber, Shop Saber. Those guys are awesome. Big shout out to those guys. This thing is working great. Joel can show you some of the details on it. So five by 10 bed on this thing, uh, two kilowatts, that's all we really need. Most we're doing is quarter inch for the most part. We can do up to half inch, but we don't really have too much of a need for that. We're mostly just doing quarter inch and under. But yeah, this thing's crazy fast. Uh, I can even have it slowed down right now. This handles all of our cutting, any plate parts that go on the chassis, upper control arm mounts, all of this. This thing cuts with ease. And then parts like this that get bit, take them over here to the Tommy Industrial press brake. And we got the Rolla V from Fab Supply. This makes complicated bins very easy because there's no uh, unsupported flange whenever it comes to uh, your bin parts, maybe half inch right there. Normally, if you were to bend this on a, a normal uh, press brake tooling, you would not be able to really achieve this. This bin would open up. You can see it kind of open up a little bit right there. Um, but that's, that's really nice and you can't get this normally unless you have this tooling, so. From in there on the table, we cut out the fixtures on this, tack together the fixtures over here. We got the 68 through 72 A-bodies, Chevelle's GTOs coming out soon. These are the fixtures to go on the fixturing table to build that chassis. This is a Tri-5 here. This is one that's ready to go. This one's going to Texas, I believe. But we got one here, and then we got one we can show fixtured up here on the table. We've got a factory frame here to show you as well. The before and after. But the guys will tack, tack the rails together and fixture it up. This, one, this one's all finished. This one's ready to pop out of the fixtures and go over to final assembly to build fuel lines and brake lines and bolt on control arms and rear end and all that. All right, one, one cool thing about designing this stuff in CAD is the guys in there, they can put whatever motor and transmission combo that the customer wants. We can mock it up in there and they can actually build out the exhaust system in CAD in there. And if, if the customer, if you guys really want it, we can actually build you a custom exhaust system that would go with your combination of your motor and tranny when you buy this chassis from us. We just need to know real specifics as far as exhaust manifolds, exact transmission, exact motor, and then we can model up and build you a whole exhaust system if you really want an exhaust system with the chassis, a full stainless exhaust system. We can build it out of whatever, but stainless is usually what everybody wants. But keep that in mind, guys. This is our Tri-5. It's currently in production. We're about a three to four week lead time currently right now. We just want to show some of the details of how, how well our stuff fits. Everything is tight tolerances, but it's designed to fit tight. This car does need floor pan repair. Bear with us on that, but this is, this is gonna be a car that we throw together real quick and get some footage of it. 
there's a bolt broken off inside here, but you got enough adjustability on these old cars. Like none of them are going to be perfect. They're all going to be different, but we got enough adjustability in all of our mounts. On our frame rail design on the back, we pinched in the rails so you can run a uh, up to a 12 inch wide wheel. You still have, it's roughly about three inches, but we went ahead and designed the rails to be to be kicked in to where you can run at least a 12 inch wide. That's the fitment of our Tri-5 design. We just wanted to show you guys a little bit about it and we haven't made a video like this yet. I just wanted to show some of the details and what our Tri-5 design looks like. Just wanted to show you guys how well they fit, the quality of what we're producing. So everything that we produce will be 100% TIG welded. We're not gonna do any MIG welded frames. Do you really wanna spend all that money in building a, a badass hot rod, have over $100,000 in it, which that's nothing anymore to build a car. Do you really wanna start the foundation of your car build with this old raggedy crap? I mean, 1950s technology compared to new SMRC, fully designed, CAD drawn in-house from start to finish. The only thing that we did not produce and build on this chassis is the, is the Mosier rear end. Taylor's gonna show you this really cool AR model thing that we have to be able to show you guys chassis. All right, so say you're in a different part of the country and you're wanting to see what our chassis looks like. In Full person. scale, in person, we can send you this file. You can walk in, take a look at your front end suspension, all the details of that, your measurements, so on and so forth. Even, I mean, depending on what brake sizes you go with, we can mock those up in there too. It's just another thing that we can do to make sure that your wheels and your tubs and everything's gonna fit with your body before you get it. So yeah, if you need this file, anything like that to help you make a decision, Give us a call, talk to one of the chassis specialists, 865-410-3260. We'll get you started, we'll spec everything out for you, take it top to bottom, help you along the way. Thank you all. All right guys, that was a step-by-step -step process of the Tri-5 chassis design of uh, Smoky Mountain Rod Customs. If you guys have any questions, email us at info at knoxvilleheartrods.com. Give the shop a ring, 865-410-3260, ask for Braden or Taylor. They'll be your main guys that you want to talk to about chassis questions. That's it for this video, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.